Welcome back to Spank Ranch Garage. Common question, why does my Duramax overheat? Pull my radiator out. You know, figured I'd give the cooling stack a good cleaning. Doesn't look too bad, right? Well, that's the side that faces the fan. Look at this. This thing is plug solid. I don't know how the truck ever didn't overheat. This was all between the intercooler and the rad, but things make it through and then ultimately they end up here. So this thing, you can hold a light behind it. You can't see nothing through this rad. Let's clean this out. This is a pretty gentle nozzle. You want to stay perpendicular with the fins. Water passes through it now, but it's still just crudded up with crap. This is really worse than I was expecting. So I'm gonna hit it with some purple power and just let it soak. Hopefully start softening up some other stuff and then we'll blast it again. While the red is soaking again for another blast, we bring the intercooler out here, which at first glance doesn't look too bad, but then you get up in here and you realize this thing's just about plugged too. Wow. Let's do the same process on that. While this rad still looks a bit cruddy, I can actually see daylight through it now, which I couldn't see before. Couldn't see through the intercooler either. So um, I think this is something that definitely you should do to your truck once every five, ten years maybe, depending on how the how dusty the area is you live in. But I mean, the rad's the last thing to get fresh air. It's got to come through the condenser, through the intercooler. If you got an automatic trans cooler, it's got to come through that too. So if those are all plugged up and your rad's plugged up, you're not doing your engine any favor. This doesn't cost you anything, you know, pressure washer and some purple power, and you can blast these things out and get back on the road. It's just a little bit of work. So anyway, thanks for watching Spank Ranch Garage. See you next time.